Oh, and you guys use magic? You guys are so dead. Like, straight up, you're dead. Oh, goodbye, Velvet. Oh my goodness, calm down. Okay, uh, we, we need to think this through. Give me the spell. Oh, we can't we can't have this. Lapis that heal me. I hate Flood Wall. Every time I can't dodge it. There we go. Alright, now I'm back on my feet. I have more souls now. Um That's not what I wanted to do. My mistake. Imagine being hot here. Could not be me. I missed it. Blood wall cast so fast. Oh, come on. When did I last save? Oh, wait. I quick save. I tested the thing, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. We gotta go back and get items again, which honestly... Right? Is that what I did? Yeah. I wanted to go this way and see if there was anything. I don't remember if there was. No, I should go back for items, but I don't... Oh, right, Geotree. Right, we went over this. Just wait till I get the Geotree. I just want the Geotree. I should probably go back and get life bottles again, but I don't want to. Take a look at this. Good luck out there. Alright, we're done with that. Tipo Island. Reference to Tales of Zillia. Tales of Zillia is a great game. Possibly one of the most underappreciated ones. Not the most. I don't know about most underappreciated, but it's definitely one of, if not the most underappreciated one. I had Velvet, Eisen, and Eleanor in the fanfic. I would still enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, I would. First of all, I would rather have only like two to three characters from a game. So sec so that's fine. Second of all, I like all of them. So you're not dissing anyone when you choose three. Because they're all great. How many life balls do I have? Or mm, I probably should go back. I don't want to though. I'm just gonna wait till I get the Geo Tree. I will say the enemies on Chaos are a lot harder than I thought they'd be. I know it's Chaos mode, but still. All right, come at me. Come at me. There we go. You're strong. I remember these enemies from Zestiria. No, Velvet, you were supposed to stun them for longer. What are you doing? I died as I was about to get my, uh, thing. Quick, quick, quick. Aw, oh, he was up. Come on. Dude, dangerous encounters here are so rough. I don't want to bother with them. Oh, Velvet got 66. That's nice. We'll just stick to singular encounters. Are we ready for this? I think we'll be fine. It's not dangerous. We'll be okay. And now we're talking. Well, that about does it. Oh, true, Magilu leveled up. I guess I controlled her. Oh, I love this enemy. I love this light dragon. 
This looks like that Digimon. I forgot its name. The Digimon that's in Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory. Granted, I've only played Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory. I played a very little bit of Dom when I was younger. I'm not really a big Digimon person. Not that I'm not a big Digimon person, I just haven't played enough of the games. Easy. It killed. It is I. Mind go. Nice. Stop fooling around. But I'm serious about my fooling around. Yeah, yeah, innuendo. Mammon's rage earrings? What? What did I just read? Oh, burning capability? Who cares? No, thank you. Megadramon? That's not what I was thinking of. I could see it, but no. No, the, the bird is uh it's like it's the same color as that thing. I think I know who Mega Dramon is. It's been a while since I played Cyber Sleuth. I don't think we have a chance. Right. Oh, classic slime enemies and tales of. Oh, this brings me, brings me back to the Queen Slime of Graces. And that was quite a boss. What? Oh, never mind. That was gonna Mystic Art. Oh, hey, Aizen with the Mystic Art. That's nice. Good job, Aizen. Yours is awesome. I never get tired of looking at Perfect Mayhem. We're definitely gonna go back and get items before the final boss, for sure. I just don't feel like doing it now. I kind of just want to get the Geo Tree, and then we'll see where I stand. Also, I think we we're just not doing dangerous encounters. We did the one, I think we're gonna be okay. Just, just kill this thing. That's not what I wanted, but hey, the gravity mine pro. It's your boy. Like the tower, go. Get the gravity mine. Oh, you're getting juggled. Crown fire, perfect. There we go. That was tougher than that I felt long. Liked. That might as well have been a dangerous encounter. Leave me alone. I have a limit to how many battles I can do. Plus, this place is long. I want to finish the main story. That's the thing with this game having long dungeons. It makes me not want to do too many fights because the dungeons are long already. I promise the main story complete. I will go through and oh, not the bugs again. Leave me alone. Oh, hey, cutscene. Such an odd thing to hang in the sky. Wasn't Inominat's vessel supposed to be the Earth? Well, stereotypically at least, gods tend to have a penchant for high places. Gods and other things. And other things? You mean birds? I'm talking about people like you. Birds. Birds fly because they must. Luffy said that a long time ago. That must be the answer Artorius was looking for. And yet, is it my answer? Oh. 
Oh, that bird question's finally gonna get some answers here. A temple in the sky. Wow. Look at how high up we are. And how round the world is. So, the world is round. How did you not know that already? The horizon at sea has always been curved like this. Right. That's why you always see the masthead of an approaching ship first when it comes over the horizon. Give you to a site like this and you're still unimpressed. And you're gawking at the sights in our enemy's lair. Hmm. The energy's in this place. Yes. It's just as I'd expected. What is? I know what this temple is made of. It's crystallized energy drawn and condensed from the Earth Pulse by Inominat himself. To put it another way, this place is the Empyrean Inominat's body. You mean, we just dove straight into Inominat's belly? If you knew that, then why? I warned you, didn't I? Now quit making such a racket in the enemy's lair. You're right. Actually, it's not that different from the Earth Pulse when you think about it. Besides, if we want to defeat Inominat, then coming in here is our only option, no matter how tremendous his power. If we can destroy his heart, he can be killed. Yep, but in this case, the heart is Inominat's true body and Shepard Artorius himself. We might be the ones who get destroyed. This is not news, Magilu. It's too late to get scared now. This angel almost interrupted the skit, so I pressed it immediately. Alright then, let's do it. Actually, now that I think about it, the dungeon itself is, like, almost done. <laughs> like, when it comes to actually going to new places, I don't think it's very big. But where the length comes in is, like, you know, these pathways and stuff. And also the fact of, uh, I want to fight that bird that looks like that Digimon that I still don't know. I don't think we have a chance! I can kind of, Mega Jumon's not the one I was thinking of, but I can kind of see parts of it. The color is, like, exactly the same of that Digimon, but it's been so long since I played those two Digimon games. Oh, I could be going insane. Hey, uh, Mystic Art. Easy, good grip. We should probably switch characters. We got Magilu's true Magilu title, I think, so we should probably start working on the others. Because we have to play as the characters like a certain amount of time for their titles. We should probably start working on the others. I'm too good. Yo, two good grips in the span of 30 seconds. And with the crush, let's go. We all did. All right, let me let me take a look at the titles. So, True Magilu. Well, doesn't True Magilu give us an extra soul? No, it doesn't in another level. All right, so we don't need to get 500 times controlled. That's only to get the soul, which I don't care about. So, how is Aizen doing? True Aizen, True Aizen. 75, might want to work on that. Velvet should be done. Yeah, Velvet's done. Oh, Velvet needs to be 300, maybe? I'm not even sure. Alright, well, Velvet, yeah, Lobby Set is kind of close to Aizen, honestly. How about Eleanor? 75. I feel like I played this Eleanor more than that. How about, how about you? Rokuro. Alright, let's get Rokuro done. Watch, and I'll show you my I could have sworn I played as uh, Eleanor a lot more. I'm shocked that Aizen and Lobby Set are so close to each other. That's fine. Like, that's believable. I thought Eleanor would be at least, like, 80 or 90. However, it is how many times you start the battle controlling them, so it's not exactly playing as them. Phoenix Mon, Mega Jamon, that's all I can think of from Cyber Sleep. It could be Phoenix Mon. I need to get a picture of Phoenix Mon. Raptor, put a image of phoenix mon in my discord you could put it in video games any server honestly i think the video game one would be best or dm me dm me a picture of phoenix mon i want to see what it looks like it might be that one but i can't say it's been so long since i played the cyber suits whenever they released which hacker's memory released in 2018 i believe 
Oh, hey, save point. I think there are only three save points here. I could be mistaken. I think there's only three. That was a... Oh, it's another room. But I can't go there now. Yeah, yeah, you can DM it. That's fine. Uh, uh, lots of souls, at least. I can feel the Geo Tree. We're so close. We're really close to the Geo Tree. It's gonna make traversal a lot easier. All right, Magalu, we walked as you enough. Let's walk as um. Velvet, just because she's the main character for a bit. We'll probably switch it up in this dungeon. Why is this another Mystic Art Room? Looks like it could be. Part of me wants to like explore everything, chat. Because you could just do the rooms when you get to them, but I think I kind of want to explore everything. And then do the rooms back to back. You could do this dungeon many different ways. I think that's the way I want to do it. Well, granted, you don't even have to go to the rooms. But I feel like missing out on the level 3 Mystic Arts is not good. Like, I, I would not want to do that. But um, I think I want to explore everything. Get to the final save point. Then do them all back to back. And then we just go straight to... There's the Geo Tree. I find a way to get there, though. Oh, just open that bridge. It's easy. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get every single orb, then go to all of them individually. And then, right after that, we go fight an Omanat and Artorius. Which, honestly, this dungeon is not as long as I thought it was. Still, still big, still long enough, but like, you know. I kind of thought it was longer. Alright, that opens up the Geo Tree. Don't know where this would take me, if anywhere. Oh, back to the save point. Wait, what? Okay, well, that's neat. I'm gonna go grab the Geo Tree before doing anything else, obviously. And maybe I'll consider doing more fights, too, because, you know, we're gonna be traversing faster. Bum, 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 bum. Dude, it's getting to me that we're going to finish this game. But we're not even done with the playthrough. Like, it's already getting to me. Just the end of the main story. The main story is really just... Peak Tales of Story to me. The only other game I could think of that would compete with this story is probably Zillia. Don't get me wrong. Arise is good. Like, Arise was a good game. But, however, the story wasn't, like, amazing. It had some problems, especially if the second half wasn't so, um... I'm gonna do some fights. Um, if Arise's second half wasn't so, like, rushed, and if it was done better, I would probably consider Arise to be a really good story. But the second half kind of ruined it a bit. Not ruined it completely, but it definitely made me change my opinion of the story a bit. The game was still fun, though. You know, that's how it goes. Second half was severely, like, rushed and not fleshed out enough. You know. Hey, Velvet. Some problems? Yeah, some problems. See, the problem with Arise was, it wasn't really the pool, like, I thought it was interesting. I never lost interest. I never got bored with that game. I was never, like, uninterested in the story. The only problem was, I just felt like the game could have... See, see, the main thing is, like, the villains. I think the villains being better would have made the plot better, so the villains could have been better. That's one of my complaints with Arise. 
Plus, I just think the second half came a bit out of left field and it could have been fleshed out more. Like, I didn't, I didn't dismiss everything happening. I just think it could have been done better in a better fashion. So, you know. Dude, the Rise is, like, in my top 10 games, but... And the story is still good. It's just, like, it could have been better. The story's not, like, great. It's fine. I've talked enough about the Rise. I talk about the Rise all the time. I don't need to go into another rant about why I think it's still, like, the best game ever made. Although, it's still, like, one of the best games ever made, so... There you go. Hopefully, that's the dose of Tales of the Rise I have to talk about. Because as much as I love it, I'm sure people hate hearing me talk about the Rise on constant. Trust me, I would... I understand. But, the reason... I'm not talking about the Rise now, I'm talking about other games. As a Tales of fan... Arise's villains were incredibly lacking, and Tales of is supposed to be normally, like, pretty solid with villains. So, you know. It does kind of, uh... It does kind of blow in that department. So, I don't know. Someone like Raptor, who doesn't... I, I don't know, I, he only watched the game. Someone like Raptor, who doesn't like Tales of Arise, would probably, you know have a different opinion than me because he hasn't played in the other Tales games. I've played almost every single one, so you know. I, the, my problems with it are mostly because the other games do things better. As a game, I think it's good. Amazing, even. Anyway, that's enough for Rise. I don't want to keep talking about it. There's tons of controversy about, like, oh, the second half, oh, this, the skits pad out. People that say the skits pad out the game is stupid. Because the skits are optional. So, you know. I hate those people that are like, Oh, the skits really pad out the game and they drag it down. Well, if you don't like the skits, don't watch them. Although, you're missing out on possibly the best thing of Tales of. You're playing the wrong game if you don't want to watch the skits. Alright, now I'm done, chat. That's my dose of Tales of Arise on people who say that the second half is bad. It's not awful, it's just not good. It's passable, but like, it could have been- it's obvious that- it's obvious that corners were cut, you know? It's not abysmally bad to me, but it's obvious that things could have been better and the game was rushed. It's noticeable.